Mercy the Mad here with a quick video on how to max out Gotrek's legendary trait within 5 turns. In game Gotrek can feel a little unsatisfying as he only stays around for 30 turns and has no skill tree to upgrade, but there is a way to make him powerful and impactful in your early game. In Woma 3, Gotrek and Felix have a special trait called Legendary Warrior on Gotrek. It grants plus 30 melee attack and defense and 20 ward save. When Gotrek has his cooldown Gotrek's Doom active, he's at 60% ward save and 120 melee defense before any items. With the legendary warrior trait maxed, a heal regen item, and some decent armor, Gotrek is able to grind through hundreds of enemy troops, and he feels a lot more like the Gotrek from the stories. The only problem is, Gotrek has to die to get his trait. Each death raises the level of Gotrek's trait, but puts him out of action wounded for 5 turns. When you re-recruit him, he starts with no movement, so realistically he can't attack and die again until the next turn, the 7th turn, so it's likely going to take you a minimum of 21 turns to max out his trait. Since Gotrek only stays around, for 30 turns, you're going to spend almost the entire time just getting to his final trait, unless you kill Vlad. Vlad von Karstein's Lord Defeat trait grants you minus four turns recovery time, meaning Gotrek can die, revive the next turn, and die again the turn after that, reducing the time to max out Gotrek's trait from 21 turns to six. Using a few little tricks in this playthrough, I was able to max it out within three turns of killing Vlad. On the same turn that Gotrek kills Vlad, I suicide him into the Waldenhof garrison. I fight this battle manually to make sure that both Gotrek and Felix die, so Felix can at least get his trait to level 1. With Gotrek now wounded but respawning the next turn, I need a settlement nearby where I can respawn him. I use a single Lord to siege lock Castle Drakenhof, then I occupy Eschen. Over the end turn, Drakenhof will sally out and force my single Lord to retreat, but they won't follow up and destroy him. So next turn, I can just siege lock them again, keeping our other armies and Eschen safe. I can respawn Gotrek, but I can't replace another Lord with him. That means he respawns spawns with no movement so he can't attack so instead i'm going to lure tempelhof into attacking him i put gotrek in force march to make sure he'll definitely die and won't just retreat tempelhof obligingly murdered gotrek over the end turn because the end turn technically counts as the previous turn gotrek is ready to go again immediately i've kept my armies nearby so they can reoccupy eshin if necessary but tempelhof have just sacked it so i immediately respawn gotrek put him in force march again siege like drakenhof again to keep us safe from vlad's armies and end turn this this time the red eye obliges and give Gotrek the last death he needs to max out his legendary warrior trait within five turns of spawning so you still have maxed Gotrek for 25 turns. Ungram and Gelt are both close by but if you want to max Gotrek with Kalfranz or Belagar you don't want to waste too many of Gotrek's precious turns traveling. Make sure you don't build a taproom or refectory until you get to Vlad. Take over a nearby settlement like Zofbar, build the taproom and spawn Gotrek immediately before you declare war on Vlad.